Hello, Goran is on view this time for our sale on the 20th of March. Another weekly sale, another good mixture. It's like being in the National Portrait Gallery here today. <laughs> yeah. We have a selection of portraits for you. Uh, starting with this chap on the left, you know, he's loosely sort of Romney-ish, but he, there's quite a lot of overpainting, as you can see, you know, in this hair um, and what have you. Features have had added paint, so quite how much is original is in the eye of the beholder. A little bit more original and intact uh, sitting next door. I'm looking for lot numbers. Uh, they're, they're stuck on the side That's by helpful, the looks of things. It? That's 1734, this uh, sort of clergyman, cleric. 1732 next to it, we have what <laughs> arguably is a known sitter. Lady Jocelyn, uh, born in 1731. Um, Again, overpainting and the like upon it. Look at these hair scrolls. They certainly didn't start life there. There's going to be other things. This, oh, okay. this, this fabric is overpainted. So there's, there's, I would say, to be honest, more paint added than, than original. And if one buy it, bought it and cleaned it off, who knows what you're going to get. But that's that's the gamble. Label on the back saying it used to belong to the Earl of Arran. Gosh, okay. Uh, she's more original. She's not as old and, and therefore less desirable. Uh, we got a lady with pearls, and then here, 1737 is really my pick of the of the group. Um, again, we have got some overpaint, but not quite so much. And what is overpainted is more is is older, um, and it has a more sort of genuine feel to it. 1737, quite a nice look so to it. So more authentic. Yes. Yes. What else do we have in the cell for you? If you live in Shoreham by Sea, then uh, there's a painting of it by uh, Edward Wesson. That's nice. Rather nice thing, isn't yes. it? Yes. Uh, running along it. A smart gilt wall mirror, 11.91. I like this chair. This chair's great, isn't it? It is lovely, isn't I it? Think, 11 I'm not sure it would last. The uh, leather is no, it's, terribly... It's, it's, well, it's going to need a good feed. Yes. It's, it hasn't quite got that dryness where the, oh. where the leather comes off and colours or everything that touches it. Nice shape. It, it, it needs a good feed, so perhaps it could be recovered. Mm. Um, as well, looking at that leg, it's, it's sort of mid-ish, early-ish Victorian. 11.92, just a nice smart chair. Nice miniature chest here, 11.88, nice? yes. with a marble top mm. upon it. Three working drawers, flanked by some decorative candlesticks, stop 1533. Yeah, nice. Uh, hey, have a look at this. Ah. This looks to be lot 1544. Um, so not quite Tunbridge, but you, you're barking up the right tree, so to speak. What's rather nice is the combination. Imagine yes. the clock upon the bracket. That's rather good. And some interesting features to it. I mean, nicely inlaid, late Victorian, I suppose, inlaid walnut, parquetry inlaid. But look, the back of the clock includes side Isn't that nice? architraves mm. that, that sit on top of the bracket. And then just a nice dial. Um, let's go around the back and have a look. Usually, or very often, these have German movements. Um, and that looks to be the case here. Yes, W and H movement. Uh, it's a German movement, striking on the two gongs, but all original and all nice and clean. Looks ready to go. So quite a smart clock, that. Yeah, um, that's nice. Yes, it is, isn't it? Mm. I think that basket's fun too. Yeah, the basket is fun. Isn't it's lot 1535. Yes. With Mr. Cradle. Yes. Uh, how okay. about an abacus? Do the, <laughs> do the household accounts on. Yes. Lot 1183. Uh, Again, that's got age. It's got a Victorian cast iron base. Uh, somebody around the supply company so uh, there we go let's go and have a look at the so smalls we are in the smalls and uh kicking off with lot 1696 nice little william callow there watercolor as you can see you've got the title there chateau i'm reading upside down Mondragon. um dated from 1836 uh how do we know well um is it signed it, yes it's got his monogram on it it's nicely presented, this rather lovely wash line mount. And yes. then on the back, we have a personal inscription giving it to somebody from Sir William Russell Flint. Ah. So that's a nice little tie. Very so nice, there we yes. go. There's a nice little there. Did you in mean to sort of... leave your dressing gown out here? Yeah, I did, sorry. <laughs> in this pile of pictures, um, there's an Aldridge. Right. 1698, painted along the Sussex coast, often in the Round Shoreham, in fact. Uh, that'll be less expensive. Uh, what else can I find in this part? These will all appear on the wall in due course, but uh, there's a nudie, 1699, Maurice Erlinger. Mm. 
and other pictures to enjoy. Yes. So, yes, have a good look through the picture section. Yes. Otherwise, what have we got? How about some uh, crested china? Um, that's bubble wrap. That's bubble wrap. <laughs> Thank you. God, yeah. Um, yeah, used to be very sought after. Goss was the make that everybody uh, made the most fuss about. Right. And so they would produce little pieces. Often they would just be a sort of model of a local. So here we have exactly this. This is Arcadian, a different make. And it's saying, what, are, what model of a water bottle? Right. So it would be based on a medieval one in the museum. And then you'd put the arms on of wherever you were, Brighton, Norwich, ah, etc. Okay. Local shops could get them all branded for their own region and sell them. And so fashions came in that also they'd be modelled on things like artillery shells. Tunbridge Wells. From Tunbridge one. Wells. Yes. Do well, doubt not, it says. Uh, and then during the First World War, of course, on top of artillery cells, tanks huh. became very collectible at one time. That is Regis China, that one. And we've got some machine gunners here from Southport and Durham City, very much proving the point that you could have whichever town crest you wanted if you were the retailer. Those yes. are by Arcadian again, right. model of Tommy and his machine gun. And there's a war memorial and, and then some other related things. Um, we've got a drum here. There's an Arcadian military hat from yeah. Sheffield with some damage, a little drum. So yeah, these things were very, I remember 20, 30 years ago, these, that would have been a several hundred pounds that lot. Uh, not anymore though. Uh, lot 1416 would be significantly less expensive than that in today's market. There goes the bubble wrap again. Uh, carrying on, uh, <laughs> yeah, those are sort of, these are hangovers from the years before. Uh, novelty spirit bottles. This one is Napoleon brandy. Cossack vodka and Barbados rum showing at the back. All empty. You can tell they've been to Gorges. Lot 1413, <laughs> curiosities. Fine. Plenty of full bottles, so such as 1383. Here's a real mixed lot for you. Yes. Um, so we've got this um, Mercury um, from, what am I saying? 1990. There we are, bold as it is up the top. There's some dessert wines in here mm. um, of varying appeal i think we can safely say yes lurking around the back here three bottles of le Fort de la tour 1990 oh, which is a little like bit more uh, more uh, approachable one might say or desirable so an interesting mixed lot there and plenty of other wine lots and spirit lots in the sale uh, dan was talking about this this would have been a splendid vase before it was smashed yes. to pieces mm. um lot 1351 it was 18th century chinese uh famil uh, with these figures in the landscape would have been a valuable vase but a long time ago it's been smashed to pieces uh, and stuck back together but now it's a nice working example of somebody yes. who fancies their hand as a restorer or just wants to enjoy it as is um handkerchief vases we seem to have been invaded by them lot 1376 this large quantity of assorted handkerchief vases yes. uh, often italian uh people like vanini made them in the sort of murano region but uh these are not quite as extravagant examples as, as Murano. More there. Um, more there. 1361, this is Wedgwood, Victorian Wedgwood. You see lots of green, green, the dark green leaf plates. These are a little bit more interesting in that they've got this different colourway and a couple of nice dishes yes. and the like um, with the impressed Wedgwood mark. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's different. quite fun. Yes, um, these are nice, aren't they? Exotic. Yes. 1371, these are rather smart, aren't they? These yeah. are dishes. Um, in the manner of the Hermes, but these ones are Limoges for Asprey, but still rather Very fun. Mm -hmm. um, good okay. condition on those. More Asprey here, this rather smart crocodile style photograph frame with a ducal coronet, something along those lines, and a matching ashtray to go with it, which is Moser or somebody like Moser right. uh, and Asprey put together. Mm. So that's quite fun. Uh, now, there were quite a lot of goodies around the back, weren't there? We, uh, on our way, though, we go past 1396, a, a, a relatively modern and very exotic... Very exotic. Uh, ...drinks box, essentially. You've got the eight tumblers. Um, they are signed by someone like Royal Briley or someone along those lines, or Royal Dalton, even. The tray at the top. You've got the tray, and yes. then in the drawer, you've got... Um, your, your bottle openers, etc. Staghorn handled and a mixing spoon. So there we go. That's quite a showy thing. It is. And in very good condition, which is yes. nice. Otherwise, you look across the room, you'll see a, a mixture as ever of ceramics and, and collectibles. Nice glasses. Nice glasses. 
nice glasses. What makes them nice? Where are they nice They're glasses? pretty. Oh, those ones there. Yes, yeah, down like there. Yeah. Uh, round behind the counter, let's go and have a nose about here. Dan's been vetting. I'm not sure he's entirely finished, but let's have a look. See what we've got. A little cold painted bronze Dashund there, <laughs> wearing his Alpine With his hat. hat. One five four five for the Dashun fans. That's a lovely sort of glaze, isn't it? It is. Little Chinese pot That's there, very nice, water yeah. pot, I imagine. One four six one. Other Chinese wares. We we go past. Quite a nice parrot. A Tio Fennel silver pen. Mm. One four six five. And it's box. Some mixed rummage lots, by the looks of things, of uh, costume jewellery and the like. And then here's a here's a goodie. Here's one that Dan points out. One five two one. This is the motorcycling club triple award for 1931 to E.J. Boyd. Um, the distance London to Exeter, 261 miles, Lands End and Edinburgh. Huh. Uh, so yeah, he's he's doing that's that's the Exeter run, isn't it? Yes. London to Exeter, down to Lands End, and then up to Edinburgh. Um, it says car underneath, which is curious, considering it's a motorcycle club. I don't know whether he did it in the car or not. But anyway, what's rather lovely is this is Hallmark. This is this is um, oh, Sterling Silver. Oh, very nice. So, uh, interesting thing mm. for those that like that sort of early yes. motoring. Um, and then Anything behind else? this counter here, a whole host of little bits and pieces of silver. One of our long-term clients um, sadly passed away a year or so ago, and he used to love coming into Goranges and buying bits and pieces of silver. And now they will come back to Goranges. Things such as this nice little vinaigrette, lot 1818. There we are. The maker is Joseph Wilmore. Nice little grill, modelled as a satchel, good condition. Nice. There are things like little sovereign cases. There's a double there for sovereigns and half sovereigns. Oh. That is lot 1817. Oh. Um, novelty sort of pepperette, or perhaps a pounce pot even, lot 1815. Is that um, tortoiseshell, 1824? 1824, yes it is, it's nice quality striking, isn't it? Isn't so it? that's in lovely condition isn't oh, it? That's, that's a nice lovely. little um, dressing table or toilet box, yes. uh, fully hallmarked, round about 1900, mm, that's perfect nice. for your jewellery, nice interior, absolutely ready to go. Yes. Good little thing that. Yes. Um, so a whole whole collection of small silver locks <laughs> hidden in behind there, oh, some photo frames. that catches my eye. So this is 1804, looks to me so like a Jensen model, of? but it's not. It's um, stamped Kur, I think it might be a German one. The handle is made of, I think, a black plastic. Oh, right, okay. A hard plastic, 1804, but got stylish, almost yes, Jensen-esque. Lovely, lovely shape. In form. Um, huge photo frames. Oh, the mirror's behind Huge photo frames, yes, you've got a toilet mirror here. These are classic That's sort of Edwardian, silver mounted, velvet underneath. Um, the marks are usually hidden away. One can find them eventually. There they are, down the bottom there. So, so that's pure silver, is it? Yes, that's English Hallmark silver, ah. mounted onto a fabric backing. Mm. And well, not quite as popular as they used to be, because who wants dressing tables so much these days? But still, no. a nice example. What you always yeah. look for is whether they've been worn through due to yes. polishing. Um, yes. I can see a few little areas where it's just starting to go, but it's not too bad. Yes. Um, alongside it... It's a, a photograph frame, frame but this yes. is a more recent one. It's in the Edwardian style, but it's more modern. Ah, okay. That's 1813. What's in the box? A canteen, I should hope. Should we look? Yes, please. In the box is a canteen, funnily enough, uh, of Old English pattern. That's the pattern, or sometimes mm. Hanoverian. Um, and roundabout, date-wise, round about 1910, perhaps a little later. Um, silver for, um, for eight. And we open up the base. Base drawer. Silver, silver. Yes. Silver. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mm. call it silver. It wasn't silver. No. Yeah. Terrible trouble. Uh, yes. It's a rather sticky base drawer. Um, so revealing what's in there is going to prove. Okay. A uh, filming disaster. It's not 1801 anyway, oh, nice. and it will be photographed. They will have got it opened and described what is within it. Some nice early purses here. One four seven three. These are in sort of Moroccan leather or the like, aren't they? There was a very nice early one on the roadshow couple of weeks ago these are not quite as old as that but uh, perhaps worthy of a look sitting next to an unopened box of King Edward Imperial cigars lot 1474 so as ever a good mixture of uh, things for you to consider 
um, viewing as always Friday Saturday have a good look online any queries send us an email and we'll happily respond thank you very much